Hello and welcome to Be a Tier, the German Engineer. Today we are back with episode 33 of season 2 of our current Let's Play series and this is of course Oxygen Not Included. Yes, we are not on Ingenium, you're seeing it right, we are over here on Ugista and the reason for it is we have already a rocket in orbit, which means Gemster here has arrived and he's currently just sitting around doing nothing at all. But he will have to stay there just a tiny, tiny little bit longer before we bring him down because we will need to dig out a few more things with our rovers and as soon as that is done we are ready to roll for Chemster. While we are still waiting on Ugista for Chemster to come down right here we have our steam vent and our steam vent yeah we have never analyzed it and it just went dormant like a few cycles ago so I think it is time to finally get this thing here analyzed properly and for that we're gonna deconstruct this tile and we are going to deconstruct this tile. And then right here, let's go into plumbing and let's grab us a radiant liquid pipe and let's make it out of aluminum and let's give it maybe here two tiles. Yes, I want the dupes to come in here and plop in two radiant liquid pipes. The reason is we need to get rid of the steam here and that is going to take forever. Probably longer than it would take for the steam vent to come back online. Therefore, we need to help it a little bit with radiant liquid pipes and that is exactly what we are doing right here. And here we have Satse and Detective Duck. Both of them are coming by and delivering aluminum, I would hope. And hopefully they're building it. Yes, come on, Detective. There we go. You're plopping it in. That's wonderful. And then there's only one thing left to do. We need to set the signal here, not above negative five degrees, but below. Otherwise, our thermal aqua tuner here will keep running continuously and heat back up what we are trying to cool down. And that is certainly not the purpose. So right here, we will wait a couple cycles, probably not even that long. And those two singular tiles right here should be more than enough to get rid of the steam here for good. And back over here on Ugista, yeah, we do have a tiny little problem here because somehow I can only see one rover and I have no idea what happened with the second rover. I looked everywhere and it, well, disappeared. I, I don't know what else to say here because it is gone. There is not even a decaying like a rover body or anything like it. It's just not here. Not entirely sure if it glitched out of reality or what's happening here, but we have only one rover left. And that one rover here will take a while to get this here done. Well, actually, he's going over there right now. Well, that's okay. What we're going to do is we are going to bring Chemster down just a tad bit earlier than I expected. So we're going to select in our Trailblazer module right here, the duplicate Chemster, and we're going to deploy him. And right here, we are going to plop him right down here. That should be perfectly fine. And with a little bit of luck, we can even watch him. And you can see that he actually goes out of the hatch. Therefore, he's putting on his Atmos suit. And that is, of course, exactly what we want. And here he goes. Yes, Chemster has finally arrived in his new, at the bare minimum, temporary home. So why is it so important to get Chemster over here? Well, when we go back to our star map, our rocket is now in orbit. And we could change the destination and we could go back home. But that is not what we're going to do because we have a lot of oxygen, we have a, a lot of food and a lot of other stuff in here that we need on Ugista to keep him alive and therefore we need to bring the rocket down. For that, we need to go into rocketry and we need to grab us a rocket platform. Unfortunately, we currently don't have enough metal for it and that is okay. All we have to do is find our interplanetary payloads right here. Just like this one, it has 200 kilograms worth of cobalt in it. Set it to a number one priority and empty storage. And then hopefully either the rover or Chemster will come by and open it up. And we do this until we have reached 800 kilograms. It's literally this simple. And now right here in cycle 616, yes, the rocket platform is ready to be built. But we need to take a few measurements. So let's head back to Ingenium. Right here is our autonomous rover rocket currently. So let's take a look. How high are you? And we can see here, my God, where can we see it? Right here, it is 34 tiles high. But that is not the truth, because right here we have a rover module that is extra. We were the exact same height before, so we need to subtract three, so we get to 31 tiles high. All right, back to Ugista. And on Ugista, we're going to take a look here. Here is the border. We need to be at the bare minimum 31 high. And right there, we can barely see it. We are 32 high. But the rocket platform itself is too high. Therefore, we need to grab the rocket platform and plop it one tile lower. Theoretically, right around here, I believe, should get the job done. Let's see. Let's make sure we keep this all closed off here. Yes, right there. We need to get this here built and we need to get this rocket down. Champs is pretty unhappy. He has minor radiation sickness right here. Stamina negative 25% and bathroom use speed negative 30. 
and he's taken in more and more rats. That is not good, and we need our rocket for a little bit of protection, and we also need to get him off the surface of the planet. Meanwhile on Ingenium, look at this. We have a wonderful, wonderful vacuum in here. Isn't that nice? And that means only one thing, we can deconstruct this metal tile and this metal tile, not the bottom one. We don't want the water to flow over. And then we can analyze this wonderful steam vent and we finally see what's going on with it. And as soon as we're done, we just close it back up. We're going to replace these two right here back with our wonderful insulated tiles. Clean up after us close this here off and get out like nothing has ever happened. While we are still on Ingenium up here in the top, just so you can orient yourself, this is where we are right now. Yes, right here. I want to start a tiny little extra side project because I just noticed that this cool steam vent here also went dormant. Yes, so we can safely go in here and we don't have to worry about steam getting all over the freaking place. So that is very good. But what do I want to do here? Well, we already have our temp shift plates in here that are made out of sandstone, which is not optimal, but better than nothing. And at the same time, though, our water temperature is at 38.7 degrees. That is okay, but it is not perfect. Therefore, I want to cool this entire area here down a hell of a lot more. And for that, we, of course, need our nifty steam turbine setup. And that is exactly what I'm going to build right here. But where would we get power from? We could literally just extend a line all the way up here and come over. Yeah, that's probably the easiest thing, and that's probably what's going to happen, because we don't have any heavy watt wires over here on the right side, and those are definitely needed. We will need insulated tiles, and you know what, it doesn't really matter too much. We can just plop them. You know what, let's start on the top and not on the bottom. That would be smarter. Somewhere roughly right around here. That should be okay. And then we are going to go to power, and we're going to grab us two steam turbines. We need two of them, that is for sure. And now we can actually see our dimensions, which means we can come up here all the way around. Not like that, preferably, though. There we go. Something like this here. And then underneath it, we're just going to build us a steam chamber that is three tiles high. Just as simple as this here. And of course, we got to leave it open for right now so the dupes can come in. Let's build a piece of ladder right here. And you know what? As a matter of fact, let's build pieces of ladder all around here so the dupes can get in and out however they feel like. Then in utilities, where are my utilities? Right here, we need a thermal aqua tuna and we're going to plop it right here. That is the very basic setup that we need for right now. And we're going to build the rest when this year is done. Meanwhile, back over here on Ugista, our rover is basically dead. Yes, he is about to shut down and we only have Chamster left. So everything is going to take a pretty long time over here with Chamster because, yeah, he has to do everything by himself. And that is, of course, a problem. But our mini pod, he definitely activated that thing. So let's take a look into the blueprints. Uh, what do we have here? Wrenching, digging, doctoring, charm assistant, cre decrease creativity. That's not too bad of a dude right here, as a matter of fact. And then we have Lindsay. But I think it is a tiny little bit too early to bring on a second dupe over here. The reason being is that we are not ready. It's literally this simple. We also have aluminum ore and hexalent fruit. We are going for the hexalent fruit this time around for sure. And hopefully by the next time around this printing party is ready, we can bring on another dupe that will permanently stay on this planet. Because Champster is not going to stay here. Eventually he will leave. It's just a question of time. Let's take a quick look in here and let's see. Yep, right here. Where's the hexalent fruit? Uh, probably passed it already. There we go. Let's make sure we all store it at least in here. So it's all in one nice location. And also here is our mess table. Uh, Chester, how about you are assigned to this mess table? Eat in here, please, because your morale bonus in here is a hell of a lot higher than anywhere else. Right here on Ingenium, I just put in the blueprint for the heavy watt wire. Yes, it's coming all the way along here and all the way over to our two steam turbines, of which we have unfortunately one too many and we got to rip it back out because we got to get water in here somehow. Yes, that is of course the problem. But other than that, we're looking pretty decent right here. May need a liquid lock as well, but we will get to that. First, we're going to build it all. So let's take a quick peek here. If we go into plumbing and we grab us a insulated liquid pipe, we're going to come out here, come out there. And you know what? Let's come all the way over to here. Now, we will need another thing, and that is a liquid bridge. We're going to plop it right there. That is all right as it is. Yes, it could be done better, but it is good enough and it has never cost me any trouble. So why change a running system? Then insulated pipes all the way to right here and then radiant liquid pipes made out of wonderful aluminum, of which we have so much we literally don't know what to do with it, which is always a good problem to have. And then we're going to snake this thing all the way through here. 
Uh, let's see. Let's come not here, but maybe right here. Come down and back up all the way. Something just like this here. The actual pattern doesn't really matter too much. There we go. That is plenty of space here. And right here, we're going to end it. And then we're going to switch over right here to insulated liquid pipes. Come back up. And you know what? Let's just come back up exactly where we came down. Because the last thing that we need is we need to come through here into right there. Radiant liquid pipes all the way through to right there. Let's do it one more. And then right here into the input. Then the output comes out of here, through there, and just into right there. That's it. That is the entire thing that we are going to build. It's going to be very simple and straightforward as usual. And right here, a liquid pipe thermal sensor while we are already here. And an automation, a automation wire. Might as well get this here ready while we are at it as well. Of course, currently we can't get in here. But we can fix that as well by ripping out this tile right here. And then we're just going to plop in a ladder all the way down to the bottom. That should get the job done. Of course, we need a few more ladders so we can reach all this stuff here. But overall, we're not looking too bad. So, dupes, let's get started. And now down here in the bottom, the steam wind tamer is analyzed. And what do we have here? Next activity in 26.7 cycles. So yeah, that is some ways to go. And over here, our aluminum volcano next activity in 20.4. Isn't that nice? So all that's left to do is plop in those two metal tiles, plop in those two insulated tiles, and then turn our thermo aqua tuner back on. It's literally this simple. And coming back here, just check in, back in on Chimster, and I'm like, what is happening? I don't see any progress. Yep, that is a mistake on my account, because our Atmos suit right here, if I can select it, please, that would be nice. Uh, I cannot for the life of me. Well, yeah, there we have it. It is now a worn Atmos suit, and that means only one thing, Chimster can't use it anymore, and that is a problem. And if he can't use it anymore, then the Atmos suit checkpoint right here has to be disabled so he can get out. And that now is going to become a problem because we need to make sure that we can actually use this Atmos suit right here. Or otherwise, Chamster is going to be very, very unhappy on here very, very quickly. The air is bad. The morale is bad. The radiation is bad. Everything is bad on this planet. And we need to do something about it. Right here. Yes, the suit that Chamster brought is made out of iron. Therefore, we need to get some iron over there because I don't think we have any. Therefore, not manufactured material, but refined metal iron. Number nine priority. Come on, guys. Bring us a tiny little bit of iron so we can repair our suit. And right here we have it. They dropped a ton of iron right here. I'm not entirely sure why, but they also put a ton into right here. Iron 800 kilograms are leaving right now and going up to our interplanetary launcher, launching 200 kilograms. That is okay. Then we're going to fill it back up and we're just going to do this over and over again. Meanwhile, on Avondino, we got to do something similar. By the way, yes, look at this here. We have our iron volcano tamer down here. The dupes are still working on it. They're still nowhere near done. There's a hell of a lot left to do. But we are not going to worry about that today. Because what we do need yes, is our interplanetary launcher right here. And it says here it is full to the top with steel and sand. Yes, that is what I let the dupes put in here. So we got to stop the steel and we got to stop the sand. And we got to find, let's see here in, where exactly is that hidden? In industrial ingredient, reed fibers. Yes, we need to put just a tiny little bit of reed fiber in here. And as soon as we have iron and reed fiber over on Ugista, we can then repair our suit. And over here on Ugista, yep, I made a mistake. You guys probably noticed it long before I did. Yeah, we don't even need any iron because only the worn Atmos suit and reed fiber is enough. And we already have a couple of reed fibers somewhere over here. So we are ready to go. All we have to do is Gemster. Please go ahead, generate a little bit of power, and then come over here to the Exosuit Forge and repair your suit. That is all we need, and that should get the job done. Meanwhile, right here on Ingenium, yes, we now have water in here, and I decided against the liquid lock because we really don't need it. I'm going to do it the lazy way, and it will be perfectly fine. Just need to plop in the other steam turbine, then come through here with our heavy water wire all the way to right here, because of course there's one thing missing, and that is a large power transformer. So we're going to plop that in here as well, and we will never have a problem again. Then we just got to close it all off. And this vacuum pump here, yes, I'm just going to leave it here because it literally doesn't matter in any way, shape or form. Yes, I could have built a liquid lock and deconstructed it and whatnot. But is it really worth it? No, no, it is. It is absolutely not. So last but not least in plumbing, we need some insulated pipes and the insulated pipes are going to come through here. 
and all along to it doesn't matter too much so we're gonna plop it just right there and then a liquid bridge that goes right here there we go and that should complete the entire build and now everything is closed off and ready to go with the exception of this one tiny little corner piece that i forgot for this we need a ladder right here and hopefully this is getting done soon but Cray walk is hopping along here you know look at him go and he's putting in the rest of our ladder and somebody should come by very soon for our copper or corner right here yes we are looking decent also down here on the bottom i put in a liquid pump with just a pipe going straight into here as a matter of fact, I didn't even have to build it that high, but it doesn't matter. It's all right. We're going to tear it back out here in a second anyway. And yes, we are going to use salt water for our loop. And there's a really good reason for it. Because the entire purpose of the setup here is to cool down water. Therefore, we don't need polluted water or anything else. Because if we go below zero degrees Celsius, our water will freeze. And that is not what we want. We want to have it at a nice, wonderful 20 degrees Celsius roughly. And that is all we want. And now at last we are done. You can see that I also put a vacuum pump into here because I'm really annoyed by these two tiles right here being not a vacuum. So that is perfectly fine as it is right now. And the pump can just stay here. We're going to suppress the current and call it a day. Same over here, suppress the current. And then F2, all we have to do is take our plier tool and snip off this here. There we go. And then once again, suppress current, get rid of this high pressure gas vent right here. And behind it should be an insulated gas pipe. Get rid of that as well to make it look at least a little bit pretty and then we should be good to go last but not least though yes we need to go let's see here 25 degrees celsius we're taking 14 degrees out of the content of our pipes so that should be a perfectly fine number and there we have it the thermo aqua tuna is running producing heat heating up our water we can already see it we are already up to uh let's see here 50 degrees yep that is pretty good and slowly but steadily, we are going to cool all of this water here down. And the reason why I want to cool it down is, yes, down here on the bottom, we are slowly but steadily getting a little bit low on water. Yes, we have lots and lots of ice in here, but we cannot rely on ice forever. Therefore, we need to have a second source of water. And this one here will be our source for right now. And the nice thing is, all the way on the very bottom, let's find it right here. We have another one, and we can theoretically do the exact same thing with it, which should give us plenty of cool water. And then last but not least for today, let's check in with Chempster again. If I can find him, are you sleeping again, Chempster? Of course you're in here. Yep, nice and happy in here, but that is okay. Let's take a quick look. We have 219,000 calories left in here. Yep, I would argue that's plenty. And oxygen, let's see. 3,165 out of 3,600. Yep, also that will last us for a good while. Next on the list is to dig over here and then take care of this here. Because yes, this here is a natural gas vent. And we are going to use this here to power the entire base that we are going to build over here. And when we have a decent power supply over here, then we can also finally start to bring on a second dupe to help out Chemster. Yes, we have been facing a lot of trouble with Chempster over here on Ugista, but yes, we are making progress and he hasn't died yet, so that is always a plus point in my book. But that is all I have for you today, so if you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and of course, comment down below. You know it, I'm always happy to hear from you. And with that, I say thank you and peace.